Hey guys, it's LegoFan9898 98 on his animation fan channel, so it's Lego Fan Animations. Um, today I'm going to show you how to put uh, gunshot effects using GIMP into your Lego stop motion. So first you're going to open up Windows Movie Maker that you'll use to make your stop motion. First things first, some people just put it in and then they make them all small. That takes forever. But you go, what you do is you click Tools, Options, this thing comes up. And I'm going to change my camera angle. There. So now, see this thing that says five seconds, the picture duration? I'm gonna put it point, point oh, point one two five that's point twelve and then click OK then I'm going to highlight all of my pictures for the stop motion and move them into the timeline and I'm going to have to make the timeline bigger yeah so there's my stop motion right there so yeah Right there, as you can see, there's no gunshot. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go online and close that. Uh, type in muzzle flash, flash, and then click images. There'll be a bunch of different muzzle flashes. I'll just click on this one. Okay, I'm going to save image as muzzle flash slide. Okay. <coughs> so, now that you got your video, now you're going to click GIMP. Or not GIMP. You're going to open up GIMP 2.6. Second, takes a little bit to load. I'm gonna make the camera full now. And yes, my background is very crowded. So now I'm gonna open up the muzzle flash that you imported. So mine is in Hudson or desktop my folder and then I saved it right where did I say oh yes in YouTube so I'm gonna open up muzzle flash let's see if I can find it yes here it is so here's the muzzle flash that I'm gonna use so now that you got your muzzle flash you're gonna click file open and then you're gonna select your picture from your stop motion that was right where the gun shot so mine is this one this is when the gun shoots so I'm gonna open up that you're gonna have to move around and minimize that so yeah that's where he's shooting so now I'm gonna select a muzzle flash take this select tool sorry take this select tool go like this control C and go to your other picture click control V so now that you got your muzzle flash on your screen this is the most important step come over here come down and click screen if you don't do that the muzzle flash won't work so come over here click screen now you'll click this move tool and come over here and move it to where it should be. I think this one's backwards. But. And then you can click the rotate tool and you can rotate it around. But I am going to click the flip tool. It just flips it around like that. Then I'm going to move it. 
rotate it a little bit. A little too much. And yeah. There. So I have my muzzle flash picture. I'm going to click File, Save As, and then save it as that same picture. It's about one after it. Or, uh, yeah. So, click quality up to 100% and save. There, so now you'll close this down, close this down, and open up your Windows video. So your video should still look like this. It's quite choppy, but I'm going to put it in storyboard. So, that was the picture I used for the gunshot. Was it? It was this, this, this. This is the picture I used. So you'll click import picture, go down to the picture you made, and what you do is you find that picture, the picture of where you shoot, and take the picture you made and put it right in front of it. So now it should look like this. Which still doesn't look very good. So then what you're going to do is you are going to take out that other frame. So delete that one. So now it should just look like not bad. Add a sound effect to it and it works great. Um, I'll show you it with my sound effect. Let's see if I can find. Yeah, right there. Import audio or music. Right there. Ready. I got that sound off soundbible.com if you're wondering. So yeah, that's it. If you want to know how to do this in other things other than Windows Movie Maker, you can contact me. But that's it. PM me if you have any questions. That's it for this video. Please rate, comment, and go to my main channel, which is LEGO Fan 9898. Uh, it's more like LEGO reviews and stop motions and stuff, not just like how to animate and stuff. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Please. Like, comment, and subscribe.